sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try I... something. Uh, try what? I figured I'd just go back the same way. Oh, he made her cry. As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> okay. You can do Don't that. Even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Okay, very good. I guess. I expected something like this to happen, but not uh, exactly in this way. Did you uh, like the allongé? I practiced. I think you pulled it over. Uh, there is her again. Oh, come on. Encrypted code for God's sake. Hey. Just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. <laughs> A little Hastings. No one likes Hastings. Well I guess. done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on sure. back to work. We'll be in touch. Well, we now. Well, since I have level 2 security clearance, I guess I might as well do some hacking. For example, in here. Okay, some closed laptops. I can't hack those. But maybe they'll be open at some point in the future. Vit. What do we have here? That was not correct. That's correct. Opened it. There we go. So what info do we have here? Our researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Altair, no, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. Okay. So they didn't like Altair. And that was a market an analysis. <laughs> a market analysis of all things. And what can we get from these? What are those things? Uh, am I just going in circles now? I think I am. There we go. Vet. Yes. So, they have introduced teleporters in the hacking. Teleporters used to hack. 
Oh. Madeleine de Lille. Or something like that. Okay. Oh, she was brutally cut down at the peak of her career by Aveline de Grandpré. And uh, she is that woman from Liberation. I guess I'll be playing that at some point in the near future as well. After I'm done with this. And there is also the Abigail DLC thing. Where he gets turned into an assassin, apparently. Oh, Can't you just hit that? Uh, there we go. Hacked it. So what can we get from you, little thing? Oh, a report. An incredibly ro long report. Oh. And this is about Desmond. Something. Have you seen this man? Desmond Miles, age 25, height 6 feet. Weight 195 uh, pounds. Brown hair, brown eyes. Last seen September 1st, 2012, near Washington Square Park, wearing white hoodie and dark jeans. If you have any information, please contact us at Blackline. Okay. Aveline. Uh, that's all I can do in here. It seems. So let's find another level 2 door to hack. Like this one. Ooh. What would this show me? I need to get it to 126. This seems to have to be at 7. Yes, that's pretty good. And this seems correct. So there's that and that. There we go. I did it. Testing microphone. So what's happening there now? There's some... What's with that guy walking around? Yeah, just like Riot Police. Riot These are just cameras in the work area. Hey! I'm watching you. <laughs> What's up with our pretty bad quality cameras and such? It's full of black lines. It's absolutely filled with black lines. And this is a Berserk we're talking about. With that bad equipment. How can the Bstergo have that bad equipment? Shouldn't be possible. There's a QR code in there. Yay! Well, these are pretty un pretty useless until I get all of them. Because they seem to be part of one complete text. There's a level 3 door in here. Ooh. Fancy. And here's something. This also has the special line. No, oh, I failed. No. No. Okay, I, I failed. I'm a failure. I'm a failure of a hacker. Didn't that hit? That, that should have hit.
Uh, how do we? Uh. I got it. Barely. Okay. Uh, this is on. I don't think I've ever used this phone more than a few times to record anything. Uh, hey, Dad. So, uh, we're all here in New York at the motel. It's uh, Queens, actually, in Astoria, near the NQ. But Rebecca's off getting batteries for something. Sean's in his room doing whatever Sean does. And, uh, you're out getting some food. Me? Well, I'm supposed to be getting ready to break into some offices in the financial district. Feels just like prepping for one of your old training drills, actually. Ten years go by, and then you show up, and it's like, uh, like I, I was never gone, and we're right back to the ball busting and the conspiracies and the paranoia. Only this time, I believe you. I believe every word. You know, I don't even think you know the half of it. I, I don't think you know how much I've seen, how much I've, I've learned in just a few weeks. Everything, really. I feel like, uh, like I've, I've lived a thousand years, or, or, or ten thousand, maybe. It's impossible to explain. But when you see that much of the world through the eyes of so many, you can't help but be sad. And to see all these incredible, intelligent people fight the same battles, make the same mistakes over and over again. Because culture and knowledge and history, these things, they aren't passed on through our genes. Every kid on Earth needs to relearn the basics. How to live, how to survive, how to stand up for, for what's right. So much is lost in the transfer. So much is added to every generation. It's a shame. I mean, over and over, everything must be learned again. I met Clay, Dad. Clay Gesmeric, in the Animus. I knew him by his Abstergo handle, Subject 16. My, uh, my predecessor. And he showed me things. He passed them to me, just before he died. Or got deleted or whatever. Everything he'd learned, everything he'd seen, uh, God, how do I talk about this? So, um, I guess you, you trained him. Huh? After I left, he really looked up to you, and now that I've seen through his eyes, I, I think I understand why. I'm glad you had him around, even if I wasn't there. The things he showed me. Unbelievable things. And I never... Shit. All right, I'll back in a second. Oh. Okay. So that was a bit of uh, subject 16. A bit about him. And yet another thing I'm going to fail at. I already failed at it. And I failed yet again. And again. This one. Ooh. I'm failing at this. Uh, I got it. Barely. I guess. So what's this about? This... There's a picture, then there's a picture of Hastings, Desmond, Cananoza, Bar Grill, T Feet, whatever her name was, Desmond's father, everyone, a cat, 
<laughs> just a random kitten at the end. Just a random kitten. Well, that's all I can do in here for now, it seems. I can't go in there yet. That seems like an interesting little place. I'm guessing there's a little challenge thing over there. I still wonder who I am in this game. Exit. So let's see if there's any more level 2 doors I can hack myself into. There's nothing. What? Oh. It's a toilet. Anything hidden in there? Uh, is anything at all? No QR codes or anything? I guess not. Well, let's just get back to the animus. Which seems to be over here. I've gotten quite a few more figures there, I guess. <laughs> Steed Bonnet. Lovely. 